So the American Medical Association, the AMA, in their annual House of Delegates meeting in June had another topic that I thought was very interesting and very important, which is our growing epidemic of obesity. And they came to the conclusion that the BMI, the body mass index, which is determined by a person's weight in kilograms divided by their height in meters squared, um, and that this BMI has led to historic harm and racist exclusion. And I explain why they came to that, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. But uh, I give an example of a BMI. So for, for me, I weigh 83 kilograms and I'm one meter and 83 centimeters tall. If you plug those numbers in, my BMI is 24.8. Now a BMI under 18.5 uh, is underweight. From uh, 18.5 to 24.9, your normal weight. So you see I'm barely normal weight because I mean, I'm 24.8. Um, and then uh, 25 to 29.9 is overweight. And anybody that's uh, 30 uh, with the BMI of 30 or over is considered to be obese. Now, the criticism traditionally has been, which is true, it doesn't account necessarily for body composition. You only have these two numbers. You have height and you have weight, right? If someone is more muscular, for example, their BMI will be higher, even though they have very low body fat. But I would argue this. If someone works out a lot and they have a certain amount of muscle mass on them, they will sort of know what their body fat is, you know, and that it's certainly something that uh, they're going to be a lot more aware of it. It's kind of saying that that's the general rule for the whole population. I would not agree with that. But again, they're feeling that this historic harm and, and racist exclusion comes about because it kind of uh, puts uh, more uh, percentage-wise people from certain minorities into the obese category. And they think that that is disproportionately a problem. However, when we also see this, uh, a lot of foods are marketed to especially those groups. You know, uh, traditionally, McDonald's advertised very heavily to African-American and Hispanic people in their advertisements. And that's probably the worst food you can eat, right? And when we look at a genetic predisposition in this case, African-Americans and uh, Hispanic people have a, a genetic predisposition that's actually higher for diabetes and heart disease. So they should actually eat even healthier. That's actually very important, right? And monitoring uh, body fat is one of the things we can do, which is super helpful, I believe, and really a good indicator of health, right? The less body fat we have, to a certain extent, of course, you know, unless we go to the extreme, um, the healthier we are in general, because guess what? Insulin resistance goes down, right? Our markers uh, for heart disease go down, you know, risk of cancer goes down, risk of autoimmune disorder goes down. These are very important things. Yet we are marketing uh, really cheap, bad, highly processed foods to exactly the populations that should watch for this the most, right? So just saying, well, look, to make everybody feel better, we're just going to get rid of BMI, right? What are we going to do instead? Oh, well. They said, well, we can, uh, at the physician's office, we can measure visceral body fat or we can use the body adiposity index. Sure, I would agree with you that those are better measures, but you can't do this easily at home, right? You're not going to be there with calipers and do this all incorrect and come up with crazy numbers, right? It doesn't make any sense. You want a simple calculation to say, hey, where am I really right now? I noticed that my pants are not fitting anymore. These pants don't fit. I noticed that I used to buy, I don't know, size 32, now I'm with size 38. Could there be a problem? And most likely the answer is yes. And then saying, hey, let's just get rid of the BMI and everybody will feel better. That's idiotic. I'm sorry, you know. So again, AMA have they have some good points that they discuss and some stuff's just ridiculous. Okay. To me, BMI has nothing to do with, with racism or anything like that. That's that, that's idiotic. Our goal should be that everybody's healthy, right? This has nothing to do with race. Anybody of any race should be treated exactly the same. We should all be trying to be as healthy as we can. And the BMI, even though I give you it's a very crude, simple tool, it's a tool that we can use. It empowers us to take charge of our own health. The issue I have, here's where I see problems. The problem is not the BMI, that's dumb. The problem is that we are being presented with very cheap foods with very high caloric values that are ultra processed. And that's exactly why we're getting fatter and sicker. So in my opinion, the issues why we are getting, why we're seeing increase in heart disease, why we're seeing increase in uh, cancer, increase in autoimmune disorder, and this is significant by the way, is Highly processed carbohydrates, right? Very cheap, high fructose corn syrup and, you know, processed uh, uh, flowers and all these kind of things, you know, bleach flowers and all that stuff. That's all crap. We should not eat that stuff. Seed oils, and they're in everything. You will see soybean oil, canola oil, sunflower oil, safflower oil. It's in all these fast food items. They fry the French fries in that stuff. And guess what? When you fry it, this stuff gets oxidized and it's super toxic, okay? So French fries is the worst thing you can eat. And then, of course, you have plastic exposure. Talk that about these are endocrine disruptors, of course. You have uh, plastic bottles. You heat things in plastic. You microwave things in a plastic container. That's the worst thing you can do. You drink your uh, Starbucks coffee out of a paper cup lined with plastic. These are very bad, of course. And these things have to go as well. I mean, these are things that are terrible for us, these chemicals. 
And then there are some other hormone disrupting chemicals, of course, and things like, you know, sunscreens and so on, and chemical sunscreens. Phew. We should really be more aware of this. I think what the AMA should do is educate us, hey, how can we get our body fat percentage down rather than tinkering around to make people feel better? So again, I think this is very misguided. It's not helping anybody. We should all have some uh, measures we can take at home where, so we can understand about where we fall. And we should also understand that if our belt size is increasing, if we buy bigger pants, there's an issue, right? And uh, just making us feel better about ourselves is not making us any healthier.